1090, SNL Crisis, Yep, Nope, Abe Drake, Tennessee Top Hat, Kentucky Waterfall, Canadian Passport, Missouri Compromise, Neck Warmer, Long Island Iced Teas, Mud Flap, Hack Job, River Cut, Camaro Cut, Neck Blanket, Guido, Beaver Paddle, STLB, Sphinx, Doggy Door, Achy Breaky Bad Mistakey, Mississippi Mud Flap, The Butt Run, Mullet Watch, 2007. I enjoy I enjoy it. I I support it, man. If you wanna do it, do it. Uh, I think they've gone all style, but I don't know, I think Mall is rock, man. Yeah. I see why not, it's kinda of out of style. That'd be great. Tell my dad that. <laughs> um for lack of a better word, white trash. Um I don't know, I just like it. Sucks in the summer, but um, you know, the ladies love it. Depends on if they're like filming a movie and they need that hairstyle to be a hillbilly or something. I think it's outdated and it's ugly and people shouldn't have mullets anymore. <laughs> No, I've seen like walking on the street every once in a while, I'll see a mullet and we'll giggle to ourselves or whatever, but not normally. I don't know, none of my friends or family have mullets. Anybody enjoy it? I enjoy it. I, I support it, man. Well, I was first introduced to the mullet back in 1992. Young man by the name of Joe Shemansky. Of course, actually more of a rat tail. It's probably uh, Chris Davidson, first guy I saw with the mullet. Damn, was it a sweet look. I'd say it's pretty prevalent in uh, the local areas of Bloomington, not so much on campus. I'm, I'm starting to get one, but I kind of am getting tired of it, so... Most people are unaware of actually having their own mullet. They're totally oblivious to actually owning their own hairstyle. They just rock it. They don't even care. They don't even need a name for it. <laughs> 